Hello everybody out here on YouTube. It is I here with Beautiful Beauty. Going to be talking about skincare. Going to be talking about a facial moisturization, a facial moisturizer today. Okay guys, you know that my favorite of favorite in life is skincare. I am a licensed cosmetologist, yes. I love hair care. Hair care is my... I, I, I don't know. I don't know if, my, if it's my first passion or my second passion, honestly, because skincare is really right up there. I love skincare. The thing is, I absolutely adore makeup. I love makeup. I love cosmetically. I love, you know, making it up, glamming it up. And I love makeup. I really do. But I love skincare more. And honestly, the better the skincare, the better my skin looks, the better my makeup wears anyway. So, and I just got done doing a um, two videos from Bath & Body Works. Just a real quick haul on what I got from Bath & Body Works. So, if you guys love Bath & Body Works, be sure to check out those two videos I just put up here on my channel. So, welcome, 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 you guys, if you're new. Okay, so let's get started. This is the brand Desert Essence. I love, first off, let me say, I love Desert Essence, and I love the brand. I've loved the brand forever. I've been buying Desert Essence products for a long time, for a hot minute, you guys, at least five years. And you know, skincare-wise, skincare, skincare -wise, that's a long time, you know what I mean? I love their hair care, I do love their skincare, I love their uh, facial sunblock, their facial creams, their, you know, body creams. I love, I love, there's so many bazillion things from Desert Essence I love. I love their hand cream. I love their body lotions. I love their shampoos. I love their conditioners. I love their hair products. Oh my, it's OMG. I love their products. Now, with that having been said, like, you know, I love Desert Essence. They're cruelty free. They do not test animals. I love that. That's all great. You know, and it really is. And, but, and their price point is fabulous. They're highly affordable. You get good quality products. Now, Blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. With that having been said, I'm going to straight up tell you, I did not like this product. I'm just not feeling it at all. Okay, I'm really kind of disappointed in this product, and that's a, that's a heartfelt honesty and, and truth straight forth and, yeah, up front. And um, I expected more from the product. I honestly did. So I bought this from Vitacast.com. This is the Desert Essence Revitalizing Oils Moisturizer with Evening Primrose and Argan Oil. This is a two fluid ounce size jar. And I must say, I love the oil. I've done a product review on the oil. I have the oil that matches this product. I do facial oiling. I love skincare oiling, you know, all that good stuff. So the Desert Essence Revitalizing it's the actual oil for the face. I love that stuff. It has a similar packaging to this, except it's in an actual bottle, you know, like oils mostly are. Love, love, love it. So being that I've loved that oil, used that oil, and repurchased that oil a few times over, I expected more from this product, you know, because this product is related to that oil being part of the same skincare line and part of that, you know, theme and scheme of products, so to speak. Really disappointed though. I have very dry, sensitive skin, and you know, it's dry and sensitive. That is what it is. And I was expecting a lot of moisture. I wanted full on, full bore moisturization. I wanted moisture, 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 moisture. Because that's the thing. If you have dry, sensitive skin, what do you do, you guys? You moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. So I did not get the level of moisturization from this product that I had wanted. Now, on to showing you what it looks like. I'm going to trying to show you the texture here. Sometimes I know it's difficult via camera, via camera, whatever you want to call it, via camera lens. It's difficult to see the texture through the lens, but this is what the texture is. You guys see? Okay, it's a ni nice whitish cream, yes. Just gonna rub a little into my hand here so you can get the idea of, you know, the texture of it, okay? So, here we go. Set you guys down. Oh, and I probably have not mentioned it. I have used this for about two and a half weeks now, okay? So, can you see? Okay. It goes in very nicely. It absorbs very well, okay? And the smell, okay, the smell. I can't really describe the smell. Let's see, it has... Okay, and it doesn't leave you any residual or residue or anything like that. But the problem I'm having with this is it is not moisturizing enough. I had expected a jam-packed moisturization session. I mean, I wanted, 
I wanted my skin to be drenched. I wanted my my skin's thirst to be qu quenched. You know, I mean, quench my pores thirst, baby. You know what I mean? So I was expecting a lot more moisturization. I was definitely expecting something more emollient. I wanted something more hydrating, just a really nice hydrant for my skin. Because, you know, if you have dry, sensitive skin, you want your skin to have a nice, you know, drink. You know what I mean? Drink it up, you know, sap it up, drink it up, baby. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, so it, I felt that this was an okay product, a fair product, a decent product. But I did feel it was a little lackluster in the moisturization department. Totally not moisturizing enough, totally not emollient enough, definitely not hydrating enough. You know what I mean? And I've been using it for two and a half weeks, and I know a little goes a long way. I realize that, and I think that's great. But honestly, 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 I'm telling you, and I'm putting a little bit on my, my forehead right now, my skin. Um, what I feel like with this product, this is what I feel like with this product, in all honesty, is after I put this on my skin, Within 30 minutes, I am reaching for another another product. I'm reaching for another jar of moisturizer <clears throat> out of my beauty room because I've got to have moisture in my skin and it's like, this is just not enough. Now, I feel that if you have normal skin, you know, normal skin, something normalizing, if you are not oily skin, but you are really not dry skin, you are in that normal zone, you are in that normal region, this would work for you for normal skin okay go with this product if you're normal skinned now if your skin is dry and sensitive like mine i don't recommend it because like i said within 30 minutes of me slathering this product on my face 30 minutes later i was reaching for my other products you know i was like okay where's the clinique where's you know my estee lauder where's my boots number seven uh, where's my Avon? Uh, where's my, you know, Shea Moisture products? Where's my Shea Butter? Where's my, you know, where's my coconut oil? Where's my olive oil? Where's my argan oil? You know, where's my almond oil? Where's my jojoba oil? So you get the picture. I was reaching for other things to put on my face to um, overcompensate for what this product did not do or did not deliver. Now, you have normal skin, you guys, I totally give you the green light. I think it is a good product for normal skin. If you have normal skin, check it out. You will like it. You will probably even love it. Now me, dry sense of skin, mm -mm 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 -mm. no baby, no baby, no, 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 just didn't work. So I wanted it to work, hope for, you know, hoped it worked for me, like for it to have worked, it didn't. Now the smell, like I was saying earlier, it has, um, how would I describe that smell? Just a little bit of an evening primrose type of smell. If you've ever used products with the evening primrose, it has that real light oil fragrance to it. It smells really good. Now, I do like the smell of it. It has a nice fragrance, nice smell, nice scent, nice odor. I have crazy bad sinus problems. I have scent sensitivity issues. The smell of this product did not bother me whatsoever. It has a very low-key, barely there smell. So I love that. I appreciate the fact of that. Like I said earlier, I normally love Desert Essence products. I usually do. They're cruelty-free. They do not test the animals. They are totally affordable. The price point is spot on. I love that, but this just does not do it for me. See what else I can tell you about the product here, if you're interested. You know, like I said, if you have normal skin, this is a good deal, guys, okay? So this is just the side of the box. That's the ingredients. Not sure if we're even focused in. We're probably blurring all over the place, you know what I mean? But it really has some good points, you know. No animal-derived ingredients, no animal testing, no artificial fragrances. Is that what that says? Yeah, no artificial fragrances, no petroleum, no SLS, no sodium lauryl sulfates, no PEGSs, no PPG, no MEA, no DEA, and no... TEA, no parabens, no glycols, and no phthalates. Okay, so, you know, um, really nice ingredients to it. If you have normal skin, check it out. You might like this, you guys. Me, not so much. So, still going to use the product. You know, I'm going to finish using the product. I'm just going to definitely follow it up with other heavier moisturizers. 
I definitely need a heavy moisturizer. This is not a heavy moisturizer. This is really a light moisturizer, so it gives you, you know, that light layer of moisturization. If you have normal skin, definitely check it out. Me, I have to go for the heavier overnight creams. I have to go for the real thick, rich, creamy balms and, uh, you know, creamy creams and all that good stuff. So, okay, guys, hope you enjoyed. Take care. Much love. Bye, beauties. Hope everybody is enjoying this month. Much love. I love each and every one of you. Bye now.